Last year, Al Hepburn and I produced a detailed video on the ASB system from a Canadian perspective and the necessary equipment required in your aircraft. The airborne ASB components provide ATC with your aircraft's GPS position, which they use for surveillance. They also allow pilots to see other ASB equipped aircraft. In the U.S., the system can also give the pilot valuable weather and traffic information. But up until now, this capability has not been available in Canada, as it requires an extensive network of ground stations. And the Canadian system is intended to be space-based. Here's a link to that video we produced last year, which will lead into today's video on the ADS-B towers in Canada. This lack of weather information is beginning to be addressed in Canada by a group of private individuals who are installing the necessary ground stations at their own expense. This group, the Canadian In-Flight Information Broadcasting Association, has a website which lists five stations as being operational, with another four ex expected to be online by the end of 2022. As a continuation of our previous video, Alan and I decided to do a flight to the southeast of Pembroke to see if we could pick up the listed online tower near Ottawa. After takeoff from Pembroke, we headed southeast towards Smith Falls. On Al's iPad, using the flightplan.com Go app, we saw that no ads B towers were coming in as we left the Pembroke area. Then as we got closer to Ottawa, the number of towers increased to one and then two. However, we were unable to pick up weather information from either Ottawa or Toronto on a RADSB transponder. We could call up a METAR for Watertown, Kilo Alpha Romeo Tango, obviously from a tower south of the border. Now Al is punching in Kilo Mike Sierra Sierra Messina on the weather page of the transponder, and we are getting a METAR from that airport in New York. We can also call up a TAF for Kilo Romeo Oscar Charlie, Rochester, New York but still can get no Canadian stations. A pilot friend of ours on a recent trip from the Toronto area to Pembroke did pick up a TAF for Charlie Yankee Yankee Zulu, the Pearson Airport, just before starting the approach to Pembroke. Perhaps this came from the CIFIB tower at the Oshawa Airport. On its traffic display, the diamond shape is a Motsi aircraft 1,900 feet below us. The chevron-shaped icon is ads B mode SES equipped traffic 1,800 feet below us, heading in a southeast direction. If we tap on that chevron, we'll also get the aircraft's identification. With Dell's Garmin GDL-51, he is able to receive XM weather here in Canada through a subscription. This serious XM weather broadcast is currently the only reliable source of in-cockpit weather information in Canada. I hope you have found this video on the ADS-V system in Canada informative. We will do an updated video when more ADS-V towers come online in Canada. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.